Ladies and gentlemen, CMB Review is proud to present the Limitless XL. It's a new, it's kind of a tank slash rebuildable tank with a single deck, a dual coil head deck. This thing's like really chromed out, shiny, awesome. Uh, it's definitely a great addition to CMB. It's got fluid in it now. I've been using it. We're going to do some further build reviews on it um, here in the future. This is just going to be an unboxing review. Just kind of give you an idea what's going on um, inside of there. I doubt you can see it. But uh, it's got a one of those quad coil heads like the TFV8. The airflow is adjustable on the bottom. And this is just, it was wicked looking, saw blade looking deal right there. It's so cool. And uh, obviously, um, you can look and you can see XL. XL, it's really over the top where the coil is right there. Um, you can fill it up by just taking the top off. Like so. Fill it up through that ring right there. Don't get down there. And uh, it also comes with another piece you can screw right here on the top. And it's flat, but with a 510 drip tip adapter. And you can put whatever tip you want at the end there at that point. That's 510. Um, the other piece is chrome. It does seem to get a little hot if you vape at very high wattage. Um, this coil head says it's rated for 260 watts. And it really is rated for 260 watt because we've run it up at 220 and it hasn't burnt at all. It's been great. I've used it a week since we run it at 220 and I usually run this at about 100. It's been doing great since then. Um, now, it, the tank's got some other features here, but let's see what else is going on. You got the replacement glass. It's a great big, huge glass. I mean, it, it's like right here next to it. It's just huge. Um, compared to the TFB8, side by side. Um, I mean, they're, it's a little tiny bit shorter, but the fluid capacity goes all the way to the bottom. But there isn't like a whole bunch of space because the air canal is way bigger than the TFV8s. Um, the airflow chamber is also, you got a port here and port here on the TFV8. And on this side, you got three big holes. Airflow is like way over the top compared to the TFV8. Um, otherwise, uh, spare glass. Bag of O-rings. You can change all the O-rings in here and change it to red, which is really cool. It does have a 510 drip tip in here and a little bag of cotton. Um comes with uh, one of them little <clears throat> comes with one co rebuildable coil head and this rebuildable coil head has a nice little space clapped and built in it that's very nice um, and all you gotta do is put cotton in it tuck it and go it l reminds me a lot of a TFV8 rebuildable coil head right on this one you got a little bit more room to build it's pretty good size for a rebuild definitely look forward to doing a bit video on that one now we got on this one a single coil head and it's got like a nice little stapled clapped in right there very cool with some flat wire going on there very unique uh, I wish I could get that camera to catch it I guess it's just not going to today there it goes. You can kind of see it. You see that flat wire run around that clapped, and that looks cool, don't it? Oh, that's just neat. Definitely stick cotton in that. Uh, even the difference in the coil heads, the dual has a big old fluid flow, little fluid flow for the single. Big difference there. Let's see what else. If we got anything else going on here. Uh, got a little tiny instruction manual hiding underneath everything. And then 
Let's get that little adapter. And then also it comes with a screwdriver. And it's actually a pretty good size screwdriver compared to all the other ones. I mean, you know, half a finger's length. Phillips head. Everything else is Phillips head. Even right here on these posts, that's all Phillips head for the dual coil head. So you got all the tools you need. I've been using this on an X cube, and I got the X cube where it's lighting up red. And one of the coolest things about this is the tank lights up red. Isn't that cool? So now the X cube, and and it's the same color red as that LED red. And it lights up all together. I love the way this looks and the way it feels. It's just so cool being all chromed out. Very, very cool. And also, the tank is just marvelous. Definitely, definitely finally have a tank that would compare to the TFV4 and the TFV8. It just doesn't get better. I'm going to do two or three more videos on this limitless uh, tank. Just as far as building the coil head and everything else. But uh, we're happy to have it here at CMB.